Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. What we're going to talk about today is a very uh, important subject. It's a very important subject for women. It's a very important, which, which you know, women is the focus of this channel though. Uh, it's a very important subject for women. It's a very... Um, you know, it's something that we need to talk about. And I want this channel to be, um, you know, a space where we can talk about topics related to women, for women, by women. You know what I mean? So, um, as you can see in the title down below, today's topic is UTIs. So, my struggle with UTIs. And I know a couple of people have wanted me to talk about uh, my struggle with UTIs and um, so we're going to talk about what a UTI is, what my journey with uh, having UTIs has been and um, the symptoms and obviously you know what you can do, home remedies and obviously going to the doctor. So if you are keen on seeing this video, do me a favor, do the thing, do the thing and keep watching. So let's get started into what UTIs are. So UTI is basically a short acronym for urinary tract infections. So this is when bacteria uh, enters your urine stream, your urine. Um, this can be anywhere from uh, the kidneys or just uh, on the um, in the urethra. And what happens is it makes life very, very, very unbearable um, especially if you are struggling with a UTI. So I've had the struggle for many many years but um, for the past two years I have not gotten a UTI so yay right uh, I'm very very excited at the fact that um, what happened the last doctor's visit or actually it was a specialist visit uh, was the one that you know helped me out and contained the UTI but before I get there what I do want to discuss is how it started uh, what happened the frequency and all of that jazz so okay so my struggle with UTIs goes back many 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 years and um, the first time I got it of course I did not know what it was um, the symptoms of a UTI essentially is um, <laughs> painful let's start there the pain is unbearable it really is unbearable it starts normally sometimes it depends it's very different with each and every case but sometimes it starts with lower back pains sometimes it starts instantly with just um, pain when uh, peeing when going to the loo um, you sort of feel like there's a sharp pain it's almost like you have an open wound and now the pee goes through that open wound and it stings um, stinging uh, pee um, it also uh, sometimes when it gets really really bad uh, your pee can be cloudy as well as painful it can be cloudy or when it's really really bad that you can even detect some blood in your pee so it is very very painful and it is most common in women men do get it as well but it's a more of a serious indication as opposed to women it can be handled with antibiotics and then if it becomes reoccurring then of course it, uh, it it is a sign of something more serious um, so with me the first time that I got it I was years ago I can't even recall how long ago it was but the first time I got it I went to the doctor I had uh, lower back pain and of course uh, frequent urination is also one of them but painful so every time you pee it's painful um, and you can pee like twice in five minutes and nothing comes out like a little bit of pee would come out but it is horrendous pain um, and yeah you get to a point where you just don't even want to go to the loo because it is that painful but you also have some like abdominal pain and things like that so for me that was one of the first reasons why I went to my doctor the very same doctor who uh, diagnosed me with GAD I've had the same doctor for years and years and years now and when I went to her the first time she said okay it is she did uh, tests and um, they found a bacteria called E. coli which is the the normal um, the most prominent bacteria that you would find in a UTI for women. So she then gave me some antibiotics and she told me what to do and just sort of like, you know, 
to make things a little bit more comfortable for me. Uh, the nice thing is that when you have antibiotics, um, it goes away within a few days, like literally maybe two or three days, and they work almost instantaneously because um, the pain almost goes away. The very same day, the pain will just subside. Um, so that's what I did. I thought that was the last of it, um, but a couple of, I think then a year later, maybe 10, 10 months to about a year later, um, I had another UTI. So when I went in, we did the same thing. She did the test, she gave me an antibiotic, fine. And, and I moved on with it and that was fine. And then uh, I came back about another six to eight months after that i came back and she said okay so the antibiotic that she gave me the first time the first two times was one particular antibiotic and then she gave me a different one because then she mentioned that the thing is the bacteria sometimes gets used to that antibiotic so it makes it frequent and things like that so <laughs> I thought that was the last of it until I came back the fourth time. So when I came back the fourth time, it was maybe about three months later. So literally I got that third dose of um, antibiotics and then three months after that I was back again. And at this point she did start getting concerned um, because um, th they were too reoccurring. It was too short of a space of time for them to keep coming back and um, this is when she started taking more drastic measures and she said to me that listen you might need to consult a um, urologist um, I'm gonna book you in to see a urologist and blah 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 so at that time of course I was feeling very despondent I did not understand I was taking all the things that she had recommended that I take you know drink lots of water do uh, drink cranberry juice take cranberry supplements I'll show you all those things right now and I did all of that and I felt like why am I why does this thing keep coming back why is it so reoccurring why is it so frequent um, not only that it really messed with my self-esteem at the same time uh, it made me because in my case every time that I would get it would be maybe a day or two after I would have sexual intercourse and for me I of course now that I'm getting it every time after I have the dang 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 uh, <laughs> it would make me not want to have the dang 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 you know what i mean so uh for me it it really messed with my uh confidence it really messed with my libido literally dropped my libido like from here to like here and um it, i just didn't understand why until i was booked in to see a urologist and um, I told the urologist my whole story. They're more frequent. I was getting them every two or three months now at the stage and it was painful. So when I walked into the urologist's office, um, he, you know, he had the one portion, the one part of the office is his office's desk stuff and then there was another room that you go into which had like a toilet in it so it had a toilet and a bed and everything um but it was one open space it wasn't uh partitioned out the toilet wasn't a private space it was the bed the toilet everything and um so it was a specialized toilet so what he did was he said to me you need to sit on the toilet pee they had actually informed me beforehand to come with a full bladder so um i peed and when I peed, something about the toilet or whatever reads um, how you pee, at what intensity you pee, that particular specialized toilet, right? So after that, he was in the other room while I peed and he's watching a graph on his um, PC as I am doing the deed on the other room. So when I came back out, he called me back out and he said, listen, I can see blah, blah, blah. He gave me the range, the blah, 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 explained a whole lot of things. But then before then he said to me, I have an idea and I want us to try it out and uh, then see. So what he gave me some antibiotics and when he gave me the antibiotics, he said to me that, listen, I need you every time after you have Dang, 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 dang. Uh, <laughs> every time after you have that, take one pill the very next morning. So even if you have it, dang, 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 every, uh, like for three days consecutively, the following morning, just keep drinking the pill, keep drinking the pill. And it was an antibiotic. And after that, it went away. 
uh, for me this was around the time that I was also changing uh, my diet so I was starting to drink a lot of water as you know I drink a, about four or five liters of water a day on a bad day I drink about three liters of water but on a good day I'm drinking about five even maybe six liters of water a day so this was around that time changing my diet altogether eating good nutritious food healthy foods um, and eat drinking a lot of water so I know that the water is very very good it's they recommend that you drink a lot of water when you are struggling with a UTI because it works faster in flushing the bacteria out um, so from that day I never got the UTI anymore and it's been well over two years that I haven't received a UTI and I it might come back of course but um, I feel like my changes to my diet and drinking a lot of water and taking some of these things has contributed to keeping it away so that's my story for me the one thing uh, just to end this video off um, if you do struggle with UTIs definitely consult a doctor and if they are frequent do not think that you can handle them by yourself consult a doctor because it might be a more serious problem and it might be damaging some of your really critical organs like your kidneys and things like that you know so what I would recommend for a UTI are some of the things that I have here um, home remedies uh, I would definitely suggest that you drink cranberry juice it's not a lie cranberry juice works really really well in alleviating the pain that comes with the UTI but another thing that your doctor would recommend is something that I have here and this is citrus soda this is an effervescent for urinary gastric and alkal it's al alkalizes I don't know whatever what's going on down there but your doctor will also recommend that you drink citrus soda so I'm sure we all know what citrus soda looks like it's like a powder thing and you add it to water effervescent and you drink that so it's really really good so even drinking it when you don't have a UTI maybe like twice a week or whatever just regulate everything that's going on down there um, would help and another good thing is drinking lots of water I drink water all the time you guys know this drink Drinking lots of water helps um, clean your kidneys, helps flush things out um, so it doesn't create a space for bacteria to develop. So if you drink a lot of water, highly recommend. And another thing, definitely cranberry supplements. Um, these are great ones from Essentials. Vital has cranberry supplements. Very different, different supplement brands have cranberry supplements, um, but they're really, really good to even take on a daily basis. You can take one capsule per day. It's really good at regulating what's going on down there and preventing UTIs. I haven't taken these in a very long time and I feel like it's because I drink a lot of water that maybe that's kept the UTIs away I'm not too sure um, but something you can also get um, over the counter is if you do struggle with a UTI and you know that it's a UTI because you've had it a couple of times I mean if it's the first time go see a doctor but what I've kept in my house all the time uh, if I can tell that I'm having frequent urination or whatever I keep Eurospaz. It's called Eurospaz. Uh, please Google it. Please don't buy it just because I said it. Please see a doctor about this kind of stuff. I am not a doctor. But what has helped me in terms of frequent urination and pain when urinating, when I had the UTIs, Eurospaz was one of my best friends and I still have it in the house. So that helps because it alleviates the pain uh, when you are frequently urinating so I hope this was helpful um, I wanted to get this video out very very important that I get it out it is it is UTIs are very painful part of a woman's journey in being a woman um, some women are very lucky to not get them at all some of us are not that lucky and if you do struggle with UTIs I hope this video you share this video if you know somebody who struggles with UTIs share this video with them as well but it is very very important to get more knowledge on it read up on it and when you do have it speak to your doctor and if they are frequent don't sit at home with something like this see a doctor and yeah 
but there is a solution to everything. You will be fine. If you do struggle with it, you will be fine. I was there. I was in that place. I was in that place too, uh, but I'm good now and I'm fine. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope this video um, kind of gives you an indication of some of the content that is coming on the channel. And I, yeah, please like, click like, subscribe, uh, switch on that notification bell, you know, join the family. Uh, let's be one big, happy, woman driven, purposeful woman family. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.